I think we can also get into like your, your like balancing the day job with coaching, which usually is kind of difficult because calls and, and coaching sort of need need to happen at different hours. Um, but you know, maybe we can get into both of those. Yeah, definitely. And then I the the last thing, um, I don't know the order that we'll get into them here, but like, you know, when we first connected, you were more focused on Notion, and then the recent change to ClickUp. So, um. Why don't we actually start there? Like, tell tell me a bit about this uh, the current change that seems to be in real time here for you. Sure. So the reason I've changed. So in my day job, I was. Well, it started off at the very beginning. We were using pieces of paper. Like I was in the IT department, working in a literal basement, and the team upstairs would bring down little squares of paper and say, "This is the ticket. Can you work on that, please?" Like, yep. <laughs> okay, that was the system. Old school. Yeah. And then we tried out a few things over the years. I think I've been there like nine or 10 years now in that day job and tried out a few things. And then I saw Notion came along about three years ago now, I think it was. And I was hooked. Like, this is amazing. This is cool. Let's all use this. Let's stop with these other silly tools. So we used it for a while and I just found it was too, too free. You could do so many things with it, but that also yeah. meant you could break it really easily. And that, you know, I, I think so many people have had that experience with notion and I took so many years of kind of hating on notion <laughs> for that reason. Like I, I would open it up. I would love the way that it's designed. And then I'm like, I don't know how to organize this. And then I put it down for another year and then I try again <laughs> and then I put it down and, and maybe like the, the third or fourth round of that, I was like, you know what? I think I could get, you know, get at least this, this current company organized in there. Yeah. I think if I was using it just myself like what I'm doing for myself at the minute, I think it would be fine. But because I was trying to use it in a team, it would break a little bit and then I'd have to go and fix it. And I'd just always be maintaining it. And we were working in yeah. sprints and sprints weren't a thing in Notion at that point. Just you had to build your own sprints. So every week I would have to go new sprint. New, and I was like, this is ridiculous. Let's do, let's do something else. So I went searching and found ClickUp and it was built as a as a task manager and a project manager, like it, that's what it's for. Rather, Notion is kind of everything. What do you want to do with it? Click up yeah. was here's your project and task manager. Oh, and we do docs. It's like, okay, perfect. Let's try this. So yeah, nice. I've gone through the experience. I, uh, I, oh, I had the same experience with with Click up too, where it was like I, while I was dabbling in Notion, I was like, you know what? I think I need more structure, and that's where Click up seems to be strong. Like it actually does dictate. Like this is how things should be structured. Um, and then I kind of wanted more of the loose, like wiki style stuff for my, for the current organization in notion. So, yeah. um, well, I'm, I'm curious, like, okay, so I understand like the difference in, like, or like the, the reason, especially if you're working with a team to move from notion to click up, but for you as a coach and working with clients, why did that make more sense? For that reason, it was because. I was in ClickUp all day. So as Notion started progressing and they started adding new features, I couldn't keep up. I was, I was trying to manage two apps and one of them I was in all day and the other one after work, I was like, oh, what's the update now? And mm -hmm. it was just too much. So I thought to help people with what I know, and that was ClickUp. Like I don't, Makes sense. I do know Notion. I do still help some people with it if they need it, but I'm trying to just shift everything across to ClickUp now and say, I don't do Notion anymore. Hence, got I've got to change notiondad.com to yeah, something so else. Yeah, so your website was notiondad. Do you have do you have the new website? I've got the, the new name at least. Yeah, I've got the new domain. It's theproductivedad.com. Okay. So, good. so you're not like you're not totally tying yourself to one. Exactly. And then I can <laughs> talk about name. more things. I can talk about parenting and how to do this kind of stuff and like right now the little one I just did bath time quickly. I got a 2-year-old girl. So bath time's done, did a teeth, and then it's over to mum to do bedtime. So it's, mm. yeah, those kind of things I can talk about as well. That could be interesting and productive. I mean, I, like for like family vacations, I've like organized the calendar in Notion and share it, share it with my wife yeah. and like show, show the ice that like, okay, that's cool and all, but like, what time is the flight leaving? That's the only <laughs> thing I care about, you know? Yeah. Have you got your passport? Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, just a quick break to tell you about Clarity Flow. It's the software tool loved by coaches and their clients for communicating asynchronously in threaded conversations using video, audio, or text. My team and I designed Clarity Flow for the modern day coach. It lets you give clients a single place to engage with you and all that you offer through your coaching business. 
run coaching groups, cohorts, and communities using our Spaces feature, create interactive courses using our Programs feature, build your coaching library with templates and reusable content, and sell access to your coaching programs with subscriptions or one-time payments. Customize colors and connect your domain to give clients a fully branded experience. You can use Clarity Flow on the web or our mobile apps for iPhone, iPad, or Android, and connect any other apps using our Zapier integration. Start with a free trial or request a personalized demo and consultation by going to clarityflow.com. This coaching stuff, I'm curious, like when, when did you start doing the coaching on the side? So my daughter is two and a half now. So it would have been just, I think I started before she was born, actually. So if having a two-year-old was, was not enough. <laughs> that was, yeah. that was the it incentive. A, a side muscle. Yeah. Okay. But that was the incentive. Well, again, backstory, I've always had some sort of side hustle going on. Um, mm -hmm. I started as a guitar teacher when I was 18, so I dropped out of college because oh, nice. I was like, yeah. That's when you were still allowed to in the UK. Now you have to stay, I think, to your 18 or something. But I dropped out of college and I went to music college instead and played guitar for two years, which was very cool and good fun. And then from 18 up until still now, I uh, was teaching guitar. So I did that oh, wow. and worked in function bands. And that gave me the taste of, oh, you're going to earn money without having a job. Like, this is cool. Yeah. And then I got a job. And so <laughs> I've always had that itch to do it again ability. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah daughter comes along before that i was like we're gonna need money we're gonna need to do stuff like pay for things nursery nursery is a whole extra mortgage at the minute it's crazy mm. expensive so i thought right i'm gonna start this thing i created a new twitter account called at notion dad because i was all in notion at that point and just started it from scratch because my work I tried to do something on the side before, but it was kind of directly competing with my day job, which is not advised. Mm. Don't do that. And they found it. <laughs> and so since then they were watching my personal Twitter and I went, okay, I won't do that again. Created a new Twitter. Let's do that again. But oh, nothing to do with the day job, really. It's more yeah, just helping people. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, <laughs> did you ever do the get the, and I'm a lifelong guitar player too. Um, I've never given lessons although i did when i was a kid to to the kid down the block but that was about it um how like have you ever offered lessons online like remote over video like this or is it always in person no it's always been in person when there was lockdown i decided instead of offering it i would just have a break like just relax mm -hmm. which was lovely yep. but no it's always been in person and that was my back in the day that was kind of my thing i would go to their house rather than them come to me as well so i would always Take, I have a portable nice. gear. I've got an iPad, plug the guitar into there. I've got a little speaker. Sounds lovely. And that was my kind of selling point. It's like, I'll come to you. You don't have to do anything. So that's great. That was good. Um, so, I mean, well, okay. The, you, you said that, that your, uh, your, your daughter, you said, or yeah. son? Daughter. Yeah. I, I have two girls as well. Um, so that was like the inspiration to do like a side, a side hustle like this. Yeah. It was the main incentive. And then you realize this is a lot of work. <laughs> so, so it's still. Do you, did you pursue that as like, okay, this is sort of like something extra, something additional to supplement or is the goal to eventually phase out the day job and go like full time on like a solo consulting thing? I think the goal is to phase it out. At the beginning, it was just to get some extra cash. I had that, I had guitar teaching. But it's always, it's still exchanging your time for money. So yeah, the goal is to eventually still do that, but then be able to choose your clients a bit more, like take on the really cool ones and yeah. then also productize it a bit as well. So replace the day job and have some sort of product, which then gives you the money to work on even cooler stuff and make cooler products. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the dream anyway. I think that's where, you know, niching down and, and really getting focused on like one type of client who has a very common repeatable need. That's where, that's where that can become a lot easier. I think not only to, to like market and grow the business, but to be able to deliver it in, in a repeatable way 
to a point where you can just train an assistant to do to like you know follow this process because we've we've done it a hundred times you know definitely and i was thinking about this yesterday as i was going through all my notes and i think one thing i want to really focus on something that i've got experience in is moving people from notion to click up i was like because that's mm. a whole the whole thing going on there you've got the wiki side you've got the tasks you've got so many things to think about you've got to learn click up and i thought i've been through all of that so that would be a really yeah. good thing i need to see if the demand's there but that'd be a really good thing i think to niche down on and or productize and help people with that specific flow yeah i like it 